Bouncer Yo here and today we are reviewing an app called Seven. Um at quick at home workout. So it's one of those apps where if you need to do like seven minutes of working out um at home, especially now. Um it's it's one of those apps. So this is one I've been using for a while now and I just wanna let you guys know what I think about it. It currently has a rating of four point eight from two hundred and seventy two ratings on the app store. And it's number 156 in the health and fitness category. Um, let's look at some of the screenshots. Let me, I don't want this. I don't want this. So how do you go to the next one? Okay. So let's look at some of the screenshots. Uh, fast, fun, and effective. You can see some of the graphics uh, you can expect. Um, train anywhere, anytime. It has a bunch of... Um, there's a bunch of workouts you can choose from. Tell it fitness and plans. Get results fast. Train the community on rewards for the instructions. Um, so yeah, um, pretty well done screenshots. Um, and now we are gonna open the app and see see what it is. So um, when you first open the app, uh, you enter some of your information, like you enter your height, weight, those kinds of things, your goals. And this is what you see after you've already registered and all that. There is a plane passing by. Okay, I hope you don't get it. Okay, so um, on the workout tab, um, on the workout tab, you can see um, uh, some of the like stuff you can start. For example, you can see your recent workouts. And there's a library here that shows you um, a few different challenges you can get. You can um, choose, for example, which workouts you want to focus on. Um, I you probably have to pay to be able to um, get a, a lot of these exercises but um, the point of this app and the reason I use it the I use it more than um, other apps or the reason why I use this app right now is because if I mostly use this full body workout for um, for myself so I've been using this full body workout for quite some time now and you just come here and you click start workout and then it starts um, it shows you this cool animation and then it also times down. Um, there's also a countdown showing you um, how many seconds you have left. So if you end up doing all these 12 exercises, it's possible for you to... Um, also, like, it, it, it kind of works. So um, you, can see that the, you can see the list of exercises that you're going to be doing. Um, and also you can see down here the amount of calories that you've burnt. So I have set up a series shortcut called start workout. So I usually just say, hey, nay, nay, start workout. And then uh, let me just show you guys. Hey, Siri, start workout. And then it usually just comes into this app and starts a workout, which is really convenient. Um, I know there is much more you can get if you pay for the app, but um, don't give up. So cancel workout. There's much more you can get from the app. There's many more exercises, um, but I mostly use the full body workout um, and really pretty much do not use a lot of this other stuff. Um, but if it's something you'd like to really get into, I cannot say that um, it's not a good deal. Although we should look at how much this is going to cost you. So um, it's going to cost you the seven first seven days are free. Hmm. It's... Uh, 10 bucks per month um, it's not so bad because this is an app I use pretty much every day or try to use pretty much every day so if you're going to pay a thousand bucks for a whole month of all these different types of workouts it will make your um, exercises more interesting I guess so um, the, it's 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 not such a bad value for what you're going to get um, you also have a profile where you can um, pretty much log your workouts and see all the workouts that you do for example um today i've worked out i think pretty much every day um which is good for me and uh it even gives you time uh like more statistics you can see how much time you've spent you can see how much how many calories you've burnt um here you can customize your notifications let's see or you can see a bunch of notifications whether you have them or not and uh, I think it's a really cool app. Um, it can um, sync some of this data into your health app, which means that you don't really have to worry about like um, losing the data after if and if, and if you, tr you uninstall the app later. And also they have a really, really cool Apple Watch like um, 
an Apple Watch app with a cool complication that can let you start these workouts straight from your Apple Watch. And that's something I really like. So um, all in all, um, I'm going to give a seven, um, an eight out of 10. Um, an eight out of 10 because a lot of this app is locked out um, under the premium subscription. But um, I feel like you get good value for the um, for the money that you pay. It's just that I don't pay and it's something not something I'm interested in at the moment. Um, the workouts um, are actually not that boring and I've actually gotten used to them. Trying to form like, for example, a, a habit of doing these workouts every day. It's only seven minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Um, so um, the cool thing is if you're also doing a workout, you can like uh, you can let's say maybe you want to do a workout again. You can um, there are controls on the screen for you to be able to do that. You can play, you can pause, you can skip to the next one. Um, and they are actually really good workouts. By the time you're done working out, you'll be sweating as heck. So um, seven is definitely an app I'd recommend. It's an eight out of 10 for me. Um, it's available on Android and on iOS. So please check it out. Links are in the description. Comment, like, subscribe, and please suggest apps. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.